It started out as a fad. The skydiver was considered a daredevil, with or without the use of a chute. It didn't take long and parachuting caught on. A short time later, everybody was doing it. In 1984, the sport has come a long way. We're climbing through 5,000 feet over Amro. I had done one static line jump about nine years ago. Today, I would free fall from 11,000 feet. But you just don't strap on a chute and jump. The program is fast, but not that fast. That arch here, off like that. And you keep putting your feet together. Get them out there. Yeah. This is part of the accelerated freefall program, and before you put on a chute, you will receive about six hours of ground instruction. How to position yourself in the air, pulling the main, and yes, even the reserve, while suspended in a harness. Now, they call it the accelerated freefall program because it is the equivalent of 35 to 45 static line jumps. <laughs> on the accelerated freefall program, there's seven levels to it. Basically, we've had people to complete and graduate in just seven jumps and they're at the skill level of about 40 jumps on this, from the static line program. So they go through it much faster, and they're exposed to less landings. The canopy is, there's more finesse to it. Uh, those landings are softer. Uh, you're basically jumping like a hang glider, you know, a square parachute. And everything, they're jumping more sophisticated equipment. Three days later, we prepare to jump. Myself okay, and ready? two instructors Set. go through exiting the airplane, emergency procedures, and a flight plan. They tell me I will land on the target. Final back end, this nice open field. And with all that in mind, it's nearing the time when we jump. Even with all this instruction and precautions, though, people still think of skydivers as daredevils, and skydiving as dangerous. I know it sounds kind of far out, this accelerated freefall. We're jumping from 11,000 feet. We have like a 45 to 50 second free fall here. It sounds a little way out, but we have more control on this program than we do the static line program. When you leave the airplane, you have two jump masters hanging on to you, one by the elbow, one right on the leg strap. Uh, if you're not doing something right, we have you. You're not gonna go out of control. Where on the other program, once you leave the airplane, you're basically on your own. Four, three, two, one. You're scared. It's just not a medium that a ground animal like us is used to. But it's a mental thing. You overcome it after a few jumps, and you get to feel much more comfortable. And uh, after that, it gets to be a lot more fun. It's just like you're riding on a big cushion of air. You never really get the sensation that you're falling or anything. It's just a big old wind blast hitting you right in the chest. At 5,000 feet, I deployed the maid just floating in the air for a while. Approximately six minutes later, I was home, back on the ground, and I had landed just two feet off the target. 